Well, Chris Gale has decided he's going after him and gets the ball, gets a maximum, goes all the way. And if that will do his confidence, a world of good. You're just deciding to do what he's known for doing, Chris Gale. He'd be very pleased with this shot. Welcome back. Wow. Just whipped away and sped across the boundary. They asked for runs. A lot of pressure is on him. Just whipping this one off the hip. Chris Gale, how pleasing is this for him mentally? And because of his height, Chris Gale is, is a tall man. So that bounce that usually troubles the shorter batsmen. And Chris Gale has that ability to get on top of that bounce. A predictable length as well from Hazelwood. And again. And another boundary. Really tearing into Hazelwood tonight, Chris Gale. And just another short of a length ball from Hazelwood. And Chris Gale is quite happy to pull this one. A change in field now. Two fielders in that position, a backward square and a mid wicket on the boundary. And quite an unusual feel. Also, there's a fielder position in square leg in a catching area. Goes straight this time. Another blow from Chris Gale. And an expensive over and from Hazel with 19 coming from it. 23 for one after two. And the vociferous support from his former captain, Darren Sami, really enjoying what he's seeing. And I'm sure all of Chris Gill fans, all of his fans across the world, sweetly struck. Chris Gale now has gone where no man has gone before. The first to reach 14,000 runs in T20 cricket. And what a way to bring up that landmark. Take a bow, Christopher Henry Gale. Runs very, very quickly down that slope. Valuable and important runs, though, for the West Indies. You're just getting a, an edge there, Chris Greel. Wind cannot stop that. The ever-present threat of Chris Gale. The bowling well is one thing. Bowling in good areas is one thing. But when this man picks up, as long as Zampa misses his length, Chris Gale will go with him. Just see the glance of the flags. They're telling you that the wind direction would have been pushing against the direction of the strike. But just the sheer power of Gale, there was never a chance of keeping it in the playing surface. short then too full magnificent ball striking oh, 
come back, Universe Boss. Cannot pitch up to him, Adam Zampa. That's 54, Chris Gale. A magnificent way to say, I am back in touch. First half century in T20 International since 2016. And his 14th overall. Yeah, just what a way to not just bring up another international T20 at 50, but also just to build that confidence, just to show the world that I am back. This is what I am capable of doing. Just one innings he needs. Oh, goodness. Really? That is dynamic, powerful. And drill up for the West Indies. Yeah, this one was just smacked. 97 meters out of the ground. So only Chris Gale can get this done. Who's had this, this battle we always talked about when you've played in a team as Puran and Gale have played with Riley Meredith for the Punjab Kings, who wins the battle of familiarity? We saw Meredith Bolt get the field very aggressive to Puran. So far, not able, so far, to overcome them. Looks like a cross seamer. Such a good sound on that. This is Chris Gale's night. The night he's returned to form. And the global audience will remember this. Meredith has not a clue where to bowl at Christopher Henry Gale tonight. Chris Gale has crowd persons in the crowd just scampering for safety. Well done, Chris Gale. Usually you could say if you're married at trying to attack, trying to get wickets in need wickets, you could look to go full and wide, but And why I'm saying you could go full and wide to him is because he's so strong leg side, picking length full or short. Got him. Gets his man, strikes back. After the entertainment, pace off the ball, a little bit of extra bounce off the pitch. Just changing the angle as well on Meredith. Choosing to come over the wicket. And Chris Gale not expecting this slower ball. Just taking some pace off of this one. Chris Gale going hard. And gets the edge. 